Fuck yeah. Wait. We're on the air? Oh, fuck. All right. I can, can you hear me? Okay. Um, okay, Archie, his microphone is not working, so we can't hear him. So he has an announcement. Maybe you could mind... You... You pay 10 lady boys $2. I, I, I don't know. How's everyone doing? Did I miss much last night, guys? I got in late. Hey, Sean. I don't think it's the Oklahoma Watch Show. There's There wasn't shit in Tulsa. Actually, well, except, no, I did get I did get one thing, though. Does anyone want to see when I... Well, okay. Uh... Hello, Paul. I'm getting you to take over for a minute. I'm going to go on my other computer, okay? All right, cool. Is it still is it still broadcasting? It's still broadcasting. Apparently, this phone call is being um, might be um, uh, you know. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'll, I'll go on my other computer. This one's fucked. <coughs> I'll go over to the other computer. Okay. And we'll do the show. So you just keep talking. Just fill me in until I come in on the other computer, okay? All right. Thanks. Bye. Well, okay, Starchy is having um, Hall's case. It's um, it's like a 98. Service dial, unfortunately. You know, actually, let's see how she works. Hold on. Not, not worth a shit. So even the service dial. Fuck. Thanks. Um, yeah, actually, before the pontiff is on here, give me grief. I, uh, flipped the, the president, flipped this for the, pre, to, to this and 2000 for the president. So, you know, I, I did, uh, I did come on the bottom end on that one, but eh, you know, you win, you can't, you have to, you can't win every game guys. So I'm not going to get upset or, you know, Yeah. So it's a one six six one zero, late nineties. Spill the beans, but okay, Michael. He is his computer is screwed up, is acting up, so he's having to get the other one. Yeah, sub. Well, you know, I came out. You know, I didn't. Uh, okay, Neo. I know it's a service uh, two dollar super chat. I know it's a service style because it's nineties and it's uh, Swiss. Swiss made. It should be, I think it should be a tritium. Yeah, and that's exactly the point. I want another's. And, um, you know, not bad. I've got service papers and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, okay, Mike C. Well, you know, I, yeah, exactly. Um, Weekly Reviews is back? No, I'll have to check that out, guys. Now, what am I going to do on... Uh... Oh, thanks, Tanziel. Wearing my black BETA. Oh, there was a Breitling. I didn't ask... There wasn't hardly shit Rolex-wise. Everything was there. It was way too high. And uh, everything was way too high. And, uh, you know, good luck finding a bargain. I mean, literally... What I would what I would do is, I would have I'd put a couple of ads out on Craigslist or Gumtree or whatever, have a stack of money ready to go. Maybe. Hello, Clivers. Okay, I can hear you. How you doing? Can you hear me, Clivers? Yes, I can. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hello. You can yes, hear me. I can, yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Yeah. So Clivers. what's the big announcement? Clivers. Yes. Okay, hell has frozen over, okay? You got a job. No, 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 no not, not that serious. I have, okay. um, I have 
become you, you a horror. A, you, picked I have a, be you picked up a woman in a dress and she didn't have a penis. <laughs> I have become a true horror. Okay. Hor I have horror. bought, I have bought, I've become a true horror. I'm a horologist. Here we go. Oh. Tag horror. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to have to pull something up real quick. Hold on. Um, yeah, um, I was almost in a car wreck today. Shit, what happened? Did you run over some fat guy in, in a McDonald's? A balding fat guy in a McDonald's? Don's not really that fat. It was a uh, joke. Do you understand? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Joke. Now, let it's me... A joke. All right. Now then... Um, you know, actually, Rudy, Rudy is sorry. My, my, fr I've got a friend who's pretty cool, and I, I, I will. Um, um, he sent me a link, and let me. I'm trying to pull it up now. Yeah. I want to keep him anonymous, so I'm just going to refer to him as Duty Robson. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah, and he actually sent me a link to a, a YouTube, an Archie. He actually sent me a link to something from uh, one of your episodes mm -hmm. from the Archie Luxury. Yes. Let me. Uh... Oh, it actually started pulling it up. Okay, let's let's pull this up real quick. Okay. Yeah, sure. Screen sure, sharing. Sure, sure, sure. Screen sharing. Now I can play your something on your channel. That should be fine. It's kind of. Oh wait, you sent me a link to this. Oh okay, go on. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the program, fuckers. This is the first official. Hold it. 2014. Is that coming through on the screen? Yes, it is beautifully loud and clear, big boy. Video. Okay. Also, who is that handsome guy there? I, I don't know. I you know I I want to chart their growth through the years. Now, yeah. notice how the horns go back and to the left. Back he had hair. He only left. had two double chins. This guy. Yeah. Also, but you know, there's actually some common elements. Anyway, let's let's. Thank you, fuckers. And uh, today I'd like to talk about, I'm going to hit 2014 with a fucking sledgehammer. Today's video is, why Tag Hoyer will never be a respected <coughs> luxury watchmaker. That's right. $5 Super Chat, Arch from Tanzil. I'm sorry. Yes. Hey, Tan. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, yes. Tanzil is one hell of a, God, I like that guy. He's so uh, cool. Yeah, he is incredibly cool. Um, Arch Frederico has revealed his new Hulk. Meanwhile, you buy some shit bread, notorious, notorious with gold. You buy some shit bread, notorious for gold plated shit. What the fuck do you have to say for yourself, big boy? Do, 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 do. Yeah, well, uh, good Tanzil. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it's 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 maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm always a firm believer in admitting to your mistakes. And just like marriage, if at first time you don't succeed, try, try, try again. With a different check, with or oh. several different checks, or, or or I'm sorry, or sex workers. <laughs> All right. You you should I go ahead and play the rest of the episode or sure just... sure, sure. Please, please, keep keep going yeah why why Tag Hoyer will never be a respected luxury watchmaker and I gotta say a lot of fuckers have come out and said oh Archie bags Tag ah oh, he's just a he's a Patek snob oh fuck that was a cool Patek wasn't it no it it was a cool paddock. I'll, I'll tell you what I got in Tulsa later. He just thinks... He just thinks Tag is beneath him. Well, fuckers, 
I got facts to back up my fucking argument. I've got facts. Also, Ronnie Paul, I was on the tag website looking at the Aqua Racer. The user's manual states that condensation under the crystal is acceptable. What the pH? And uh, I'm, I'm going to present this case to you fuckers today. And, uh, you know, a, a little bit about it. Hoya was a greatly respected company. Yeah, you're right about that part, definitely. Actually, if you have a Hoya, you're a winner. If you have two or more, then never mind. They made a lot of stopwatches, wristwatches, chronographs. Highly respected maker. They also made a really dandy uh, triple date. Oh, by the way, a ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, yes, ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, swing, ten dollar. AC three. What do you think of a Tudor forty two thousand CN Fast Rider Black Shield for three thousand? One. Is this a good movement? Two. Does this have good resale value? Is there a better investment? I'm considering and need advice. There's something missing from that. The words Black Bay, Black Bay, Black Bay is what that's that's what you need for success. And uh, the fact that it doesn't have Black Bay in it tells you to stay away from this fucking thing. Okay. I would seriously considering all the new developments, the Black Bay, Black Bay Heritage is where I'd be going. I would be going for I wouldn't be buying a fast rider. Sorry. That's my opinion. Okay. Now then, Art and Bob from Brisbane says, uh, "I do, Archie has said he does not like the fast slider. Fast slider, sorry, fast rider." And he said that repeatedly. Five dollars, Sandsills and sorry, Arch. Oh, by the way, Tanzils in Texas. Can you believe Shit. it or not? Yeah. Arch, what the fuck is going on here? Tag Hoyer today. What can we expect tomorrow? A fucking, uh, sorry, a fucking squally? How are you any different now than Bruce Will than Spruce, sorry, Spruce Williams? He did not use any other YouTube channel's name. He said Spruce Williams. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Uh, I, I don't leave my watches on the car. Also, also, um, Bruce is, um, Bruce is hornless. The Japs, the Japanese slaughtered these fuckers. Okay, well, here we go. $10 super chat. Let's be positive instead of haters. The Tag Monaco is a classic. Tag Silverstone, brilliant as well. Arguably the rest are shitters, but let's be enthusiasts, not snobs by denigrating an entire brand. Okay. And... <laughs> I got to be completely honest with you, Clivers. There are some very good points raised here. And let me just say this for the record. It's true. <clears throat> it's true. There are a lot of these tag Hoyas here I wouldn't touch with a barge pole. The Monaco Caliber 11, I, I put a lot of thought into this. Can I do it? Because I've got to make the apology video. And... Uh, I got to be completely frank with you, Clive. There are very few tags I would actually buy, but the Monaco Caliber 11, the Silverstone, there's a few. I don't even mind some of their their vintage Carreras, you know, the Chronograph Carreras. Well, the, no, vintage ta vintage Hoyer, perfectly fine. Well, they've they've had reissues of, of the of, of the Carrera. Oh, oh, oh. They've yeah, had well. reissues. I think they're okay. Well. And you know, to be honest, I'm not. We're not supposed to name other channels, but um, Randy Munter basically actually brought up the the whole point of why are we still hating on tag? You know, haven't they? At what point? At what point can a watch brand who missteps? What at what point can they redeem themselves? Well, Which I, I don't think. I don't think they could ever really redeem themselves fully, but let's face it, the Monaco, Steve McQueen, the, the word Steve McQueen, do you know he's the coolest, coolest fucker ever? 
to grace the planet. Okay. Um, Archie, how much did you pay for the watch? Asked Neo. That's a very good question. I'll tell you exactly what I paid for it. Okay, so, so let me tell you the story. This guy here, he bought this watch on the 18th of February for his 34, 34th birthday. Okay. Hello? What? Yeah, he bought it on, on 18th of February. He haggled like a bitch and bought it for... Six thousand seven hundred and fifty Australian dollars. <coughs> Alexa, how much is six thousand seven hundred and fifty Australian dollars in US dollars? Alexa, can, uh, convert six thousand seven hundred fifty Australian dollars is five thousand one hundred eighty-two dollars and sixty cents. You know, you could seriously buy your own Alexa anytime you fucking want to. I mean, just want to point that out. Is that why we have the live streams all the time? Because you don't want to spend the hundred fifty bucks or whatever yeah. the fuck it is in Australian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he paid that, and then he realized it was too small for him. He's a Vietnamese guy. He's got a smallish wrist, so. What he decided to do is Clivers. He um, <clears throat> he sold it to me. I paid four thousand four hundred. Alexa, how much is four thousand four hundred Australian dollars in US dollars? Four thousand four hundred Australian dollars is three three Okay, we're running behind the super. 4,400 Australian dollars is $3,378.30. Okay, a uh, quick $5 super chat by Tanzil. Sorry. Archie, which of the following technique will you get to uh, get you to tag a hoyer? Okay, tag a whore in Monaco. Show off your terrible LV suitcase collection or get Pedrico to pay for you. Uh, the second option, get Pedrico to pay for me. He has in the past. Oh. That's not as okay. far-fetched. Um, okay. Also, $25 super chat from Neo. Archie, get a pizza. Yes, sir. They, uh, I get, all right, okay. Okay. No worries. Well, okay. I don't know if Archie's going to thank you, Neo, but... You know, Thank you so Neo. much, Neo. Ne Neo is one of the coolest. I've got a video coming for him too, by the way. I was going right. through some backlog of videos I need to do. Neo, I, I never forgot your video. What happened was I'm running a month behind schedule on paid reviews. So I actually found it the other day and sent you a, a message to say your video is actually coming. I haven't, I hadn't started. It wasn't that I'd forgotten it. It's just that I hadn't started yet. Oh, Bear Clinton watches. Hey, Bear, how you doing? Um, I love Bear Clooney. I'll, I'll just likewise. just cover me for one minute, Clivers. Bear Clooney. Bear says I want the Archie version of Alexa. He want Bear Clooney wants Alexa luxury. <laughs> I love Bear Clooney. All right. Hold on, guys. Let me let me talk the Minotaur. Clive. Yes. That is porn. What is porn? That fucking no date sub. Would you sell it to me? Can I tell you uh, something else? Now, no, wait, everything whoa, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, wait. So. Clive is. Sorry. Do you, want, do, you want to do you want to reconsider that again? I fucking love that. Oh, it's a seed. Well, it's a, it's a, what the fuck? It's, it's a date sub. When did you buy this? Today. So you got a no date? You got a sea dweller. <clears throat> well, can you sell me your no date? Well, yes, I could easily sell you my no date. Will I? No. No, I will not. Clive, I got another announcement to make on the channel. Do you want to hear it or not? Um, your horns are succeeding from the union. I'm actually thinking of selling my Patek Philippe. 
Oh, wow. This is oh. groundbreaking news. I, I have actually, every year when you own a Patek Philippe, you need to get approval from Patek Philippe to own their brand. And it, it, it hasn't come back good this year. So I've got, I've got, I've got two months to get rid of it. Well, as we all know, Archie Luxury never truly owns a Patek Philippe. No, he merely no, looks no. after it for the next ex-wife. Now, Clivers. Oh, uh, by the way, um, tea gump, two dollars. Can I get? Can I get? Uh, tea gump, two dollars super chat. Away three weeks. Girls making money. Girls and making money. Why are horns still on? Now I'm going to the doctor this week. Okay. I, I tell you what the problem is. Okay, I, I've I've got to go to court on Wednesday, right? I'm going to right. court on Wednesday. Then at Thursday, I'm booked into the doctor. Okay. No, okay. Well, Thursday. You know, actually, Thursday, guys. So I won't be. I may not. Well, I, actually, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to. I'm just going to film normally. I'm not going to do anything differently, Clive. I'll I'll be broadcasting normally. I may have some surgical yeah. tape around my face. Okay. Now, um, a five dollar super chat by Tanzil. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Um. Okay, and I was expecting this. Arch, what, oh, I also was, uh, I should have had someone take a picture. I had a, I had a large sign up in Tulsa saying, um, give me $50 and I will reveal yes. Archie, Archie Luxury's home phone number. Yes, and that, then you bought the, uh, the sub with it. Uh, no, no, everyone's like, who the fuck is, never mind. Okay, uh, let's go back. Archie, what the fuck's going on, man? If you sell your Patek, you'll be without a Hotorology piece. The Squire may be promoted to governor with this travesty. Look, I've got some you know, personal let's, problems. Let's, Do you understand let's, let's, personal let's, problems? Let's, there's, Do you another want five, there's another $5 super chat. Mm -hmm. Archie, if TGV has, sorry, sorry, if AGV... If AVG has an AP and you're Pateklas, doesn't that make him superior to you? Well, with his ratings, he's already more superior to me. Uh, okay. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ronnie pa Paul wants me to flash the sub again. He can't see straight after seeing Archie's tag. Okay. Ronnie, take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Oh my It'll God! Be at least it's a sixteen six ten. Wait, yes. what, what serial number is it? Oh, I think it's I think it's an M. It's like a late nineties. Holes, holes oh, case. I love you know the holes cases are getting more trendy now. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did because well, and the thing is, it's, everyone it's also, wanted the no holes case to start with, but now it's reverted back to the the, the holes cases being cooler. Well, and, oh, uh, and Robert Padilla, happy birthday, man. Sorry, sorry, I wasn't on the channel yesterday. Robert, Robert Padilla, he's another guy i got to do a video for. Relax. Good. Okay, guys, uh, Tanzil. Uh, and By sorry. the way, I'm going to be eating pizza on air today. We'll be doing that. Now, guys, I want to say this to you in case you haven't worked this Five dollars super chat. Five, okay, guys, fucking channel announcement since all these ludicrous Archie's buying a Federic talks watches constant. Okay. Now tell me oh, this. Oh. Yeah, he's bringing up a Federic Constant. I got it. Gotcha. 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 Clivers, I want to ask you something seriously. Ask me it flippantly. You realized I am manic depressive because yesterday, did you see the show without you? It was a disaster. Uh, no, I didn't. I was, I was uh, driving. Have you heard in. of Flat Archie? No. Yeah, I was lower than cockroaches. Clive, it was a disaster that video I did yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, I was flat. I had nowhere to go. After 20 minutes, I gave up. It was a fucking dis disaster, Clive. After 20 minutes, you gave up. You mean no one super chatted? Not many. Okay, I got a few. I did get a few. I did get a few, but without you, Clive, it was a disaster. I got to be completely frank with you. I'll be honest with you, Clive. It was a fucking disaster. Well, everyone's entitled to an off yeah, day. Hey, Alexa, how much is 28,000 Australian dollars in US dollars? 
28,000 Australian dollars is $21,498. Well, okay. What would you do with that amount of money? <sighs> Tuffy. Would you get carpet? Would you put curtains up? Or would no, you fuck, fuck it and get some cool kick-ass watches? Look around me. What do you think my answer would be? You could buy, you buy art? Uh, no, actually, I, I, a felon gave me that, so. You buy valuable art? No, Death hell no. Art, okay, uh, $10, $10, $10. Uh, 10 cylinder, sorry. Okay, assholes, let's... <laughs> Okay, assholes, let's recap. Archie buys a tag whore, yes, sells his yes. Patek, broke his computer, and is using Class Alex to do his Google searches because he because he can't because he live on Google ads alone. Okay, and also also uh show Tansil your toes again. My toes, why is that? I think he loves that no no no, I'm not gonna do that to him. Uh one for okay. Okay, good. They're getting better, actually. Okay. Oh, it's not that good. I got no feeling in them, but they're getting better. Um, I can put pins into them. Do you want me to show you that for five bucks? No, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's guys, if you want Archie to stick pins in this, no, wait, wait, wait yeah, for, Archie for um, okay, guys, for five bucks. Archie will put pins into his toes. It was a joke, Clive. It was a joke. I'm not serious. No, 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 no. It's out. It's out there now. So five bucks. Archie put. Also, if you give Archie twenty bucks, he will put pins into his penis. <laughs> and that will that footage will not be released, of course. Here, that'll be special footage for Patreon viewers only. Yes, Clive is. T tell me the truth okay we've had jokes aside do you think the hoya i bought what do you think tell me what you think honestly be completely honest speak freely well let's see um mm, and i mean well, well it's basically a self homage watch yeah yeah it's More a reissue it's a reissue that's a reissue, except except Hoyer Tag Hoyer didn't issue it originally. It was just Hoyer. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah uh, does it have tag, tag Hoyer on the? Does it have uh, Tag Hoyer on the on the dial or just Hoyer? Uh, it's just it's just got Hoyer Monaco Monaco. Then it's got Hoyer the old logo. Well, okay, I guess, I guess, you know, it's just like most, it's just like most, most marriages. You just kind of uh, ignore a bunch of stuff, ignore the bad things, put it out of your mind and just keep going with what you got left. Okay. That was not the question I thought you were going to ask. That was not the announcement I thought you were going to make, but okay, good. Jared what Coffin do said, you think you go on? Uh, Jared Coffin said tag is fun. No, he's talking about Tag Hoyer. Now, um, okay, I don't know what the hell some of these comments are, are referring to, so I'm just going to ignore them unless there's a super chat into Archie Luxury style. I mean, yeah, I guess it's all right. But the thing, the thing is, though, I mean, so many of these iconic so many of these iconic pieces are becoming unavailable and that's and that's the bad thing that's the bad thing about them though unfortunately so the only way you can get your hands on is if tag hoyer does a, a reissue a kind of a home homage watch i don't know if you really want an original tag hoyer because they are fucking real nightmare to service you you, you know that don't you Um, okay, might be, a, for most people, yeah. For most people, you forgot I've got the 247, and I've got the triple date, and I've got a guy who knows how to work on them. Okay, Jared Coffin, Tag is a fun brand, guys, simple as that. 
Uh, apparent Max. Okay. Apparent, oh, I think Max might be on the. I think Max might be on the channel. Uh, well, you know the thing. Here's the thing, though. Ultimately, if you like it, that's the only thing that really counts, isn't it? Um. No, I'm. I need acceptance from all my peers. I need validation. I need oh, constantly right. to be told that is a cool watch, Archie. Um, IWC stands for I want compliments. <laughs> that was one of the better things when you first got that one. I I, I can't. I don't have. A, I uh, I don't want to go off camera to get it, but I actually got a. Uh, I actually got a. Uh, Seamaster 150. Okay. You well, got a okay. Seamaster 150? Yeah. Yeah. How much was that? Yeah, about a thousand. Thousand bucks. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Number one. Okay. There you go. That's, that's, what, that's the actual watch here. Here you go. Live from the wrist. Nah. That's not bad. Okay. That's uh, what it says on the dial. Monaco Hoya. There you go. It's got, do you like well, the red? Well, it's just, uh, you could look at it and just swallow your pride and pretend. You know, pretend the bad things aren't there. Kind of like you do with marriage. Okay. Ronnie Paul, $5. Arch, any chance you we can get your money back? You can get your bunny back on the tag whore. Sure. Okay. Okay, Archie Ball. Which of the following is true? Clive would take a shite on your tag whore. Fat Rico's Hulk is a fakie. Austin Daniels sub <laughs> unsubbed the channel today. What? Austin Daniel unsubbed the channel? Why? No, which of the following is true? Clive would take a shit on your tag. I think the first one would Clive would do that, wouldn't you? You'd do that because you, you're quite a nasty guy, really. Clive's not actually a really no, nice guy. No, I'm a nice guy. I'm just only He's... nasty to you. <laughs> okay. Thank and you. and to be honest, and that Toyer does kind of look nice and square like a cat's litter pan. So it's kind of begging for it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Okay. Um, do you think Hold I on. made a mistake buying it? Um, unless you've got it really, really cheap and you're going to pump it and dump it like a tie, like a banger's lady boy. No, this is yeah. a keeper. This is a keeper. What kind of movement in it? Caliber 11? Caliber 11. Caliber 11. So what can you tell me about the caliber? Hey, wait a minute. I know who we can bring on that can tell us about the caliber 11. Yes. Get him on. Get him on. Don. Okay. Get Don on. Now then. Now why would I be if, if anyone, If anyone was, was, was thinking that maybe Archie is lying about mental illness, please watch yesterday's live show Live without Clivers, you can see Archie yeah. going through the real. Give me a, give me, do you mind if I go off camera for a second? Will you watch sure. the super? I, I'll, I'll watch. A, I'll watch. Give me, a, give me a show you the. Uh, give me a show you the watch uh, the Omega Omega. Omega. I would love to see it. Please, please do that. Okay. Please do that. I'll keep an eye on the super chats. Yeah, I hope so. Since you're getting all the money, that would be nice. You know. Thank you, thank you, Clivers. Yeah, I got to be completely honest with you guys. There, I've, uh, I think this is the only tag you could really get. I really do think that. Yeah, yesterday was a stinker. I mean, if ever you thought I don't have mental illness, just watch yesterday's show. Jeez, was I flat. Five dollar super chat from Tanzil. Keeping a tag is like saying you'd like to keep a case of gonor gonorrhea. Ooh, I don't know about the, ooh, it's like saying you'd keeping a tag is like saying you'd like to keep a case of gonorrhea, Ronnie Paul. Fuck, fuck, that's harsh. Okay. That is harsh. Well, actually, wait. Let me see if I can pull up a picture. I'm, I might have a. Uh, you know, I will. Uh, you don't have it. What's happened to this, Clivers? What happened? What's happened to what? Uh, you don't have the watch. You sold it already. You lost it. What's going on? Well, no, I think I may, let me. I might have a picture I could send to you. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Portina. Now, guys, I want to ask your opinion. 
I'm thinking of selling my paddock for twenty-eight thousand dollars, which is twenty-one okay. and a half US. Should I do it? Yes or no? Not the best picture, but I'm going to send it real quick. Okay. Yeah, send it, send it, send it, send it. Right. Trying to send it to the right one. Oh, I need. Okay. Uh, we are okay. Yes, it has now. I probably need to take a better picture of it. But you pretty much guessed what I was going to say. Tell me. Wow. Is that original insert there in the bezel and that? Yep. Fuck, that's a beautiful piece. And you know what's beautiful about it? Tell me. You know what I'm about to say. Patina! Yep. No faux patina on that one. It's Ain't no faux on this. Yep. And the, the, indice, the indices are turning yellow, like your teeth or your underwear. Yes. Sorry, the front of your underwear. Yes, thank you. And also, yes, you. The, the bezel is starting to ghost. Wow. Now, <laughs> now, if I could surgically transplant this patina on this, oh my God. It is just lovely. None. Number, <laughs> none. Never bigger pickles than Clive's camera. No, that was actually, okay. I could, well, let me see if I can take a better shot. Hold on. Da -da -da. Oh. Oh, Don, Han Don Haynes says not tonight. Oh, I had an ex-wife who used to say that to me. I had an ex-wife who used to say that to yes, me. Yes. I, I heard you. I heard you. Boom, boom. Uh, all right. So let's send this. Thank you. By mail. Yes, it has an empty section field. Send it anyway. Should I send it large or actual size of 2.3 megabytes? Uh, that's up to you, Clive. I'll send it large. Or actually, no, I'll send it actual size. Because I know how much you love high resolution uh, photographs. Are they okay from the iPhone? It's when people send yeah. 20 megabytes. Anyway, schmick o. Schmicko, schmicko, schmicko. Just, yeah. So, Clyde, anyway. I want to ask you, I need some advice from you. Should I sell my paddock? Yes, no. Tell me. I want to talk to the viewers. I want the viewers to tell me if I should sell it or keep the fucking thing. That's what I want uh, to know. That's what a toughie. What fucking do? What should I fucking do? Well, the, the trouble is, well, the trouble is, I think you need you. You're probably wanting to sell the paddock before you actually have to do a service on it. Yeah, but I mean, is that price fair enough, or do you think I'm selling too low? That's what I'd like to know because that's cheaper than Chrono Twenty Four. Any of them on Chrono Twenty Four are more than that, but Chrono Twenty Four can be a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit high at times. Oh yeah, well it, yeah, Chrono Twenty Four is used wholesale. I mean, used retail. Mm. Used retail. Um, Matt Church says sell and then get a laying A1 in garlic bread. You reckon? Garlic bread is always a good idea. Mm. Anyway, okay. Did you get the email for or either one of the emails? Okay, let's have a look, Clive. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Both of them came through. Good, because when I send you the emails, it helps if you pull them up. Oh, okay. The second one's probably the better picture. Coming now. There we go. 
Okay, that's the first one. Try the second one. The second one? Yeah. Coming. You bought this from a watch fair, did you? Uh, yeah, actually I did. Uber Oki was there? Yes, he was. Any deals? Oh, the second one looks much better. Well, yeah. That's yeah, fucking I, sexy, Clive. Oh, shit, put it on the screen. What year is this from? No idea. I'll probably I'll, I'll have to research a little bit better. 60s, 70s, isn't it? Thereabouts, yeah. Fuck, that is absolutely beautiful. For a thousand bucks. Yep. Fuck! I paid three times as much for my horror! I think I may not have bought the right thing. You think you'd have been better off buying something like that? That is not a homage, but it's actually... The original meal deal. It's the combo deal in a box. I yep. love the applied logo, don't you? I do too. Oh, and even vintage Rolex watches. And that fucker knows that fucker knows his vintage. So it's not bad. Um, original bracelet. Uh oh, shizzle. And does it fit you? Let me take this one off. Oh my God, I can actually compare. I could actually compare them. I could do one of those videos like everyone else and compare a tag, compare a tag to a, uh, uh, not a tag, sorry, you got me saying it now. I can actually do one of those videos. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Look at that. Do you see that? Wow. Now, is that, now I ask you, is that sexy as fuck or what? The watch, not me. Oh, Mark. Mark wants in. Bring him in. I mean, and and I mean on the chat. Sure. Okay. Yep. So, what do you guys? If you like, if you guys like the, um, if you like, if you think the Omega is a better purchase, press one. If you think the tag Hoyer, sorry, the Hoyer Monaco is a better purchase, press two. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, they also had a grand date reverse. I mean, the a reverse of grand date, just like yours. 5,000, you said. 5,000, yeah. That's fucking cheap. Yeah. Um, Box you see papers? Where I didn't ask about that because it's like, it's just like, ah, uh, I've already got, you know, I, I thought, well, that's huh, interesting. I didn't ask any further questions because I've already got a reverso. Yeah. Do offense. Okay. Opinion says watch ask watch affectionado. Two dollars Australian. Jealousy reverso duo. Je grand duo date in rose gold. Yeah. Pull the trigger, big boy. Yeah, used. But <clears throat> but keep in mind that's a whole watch. That's not a flipping watch. I think the only flipping. I mean, now basically the president. I president for this in two thousand dollars. What should I say, say it again? The, uh, the got this from the watch dealer in two thousand dollars for the president. He gave you two thousand. Yeah, and this. Oh, you're out of the president now. I'm out of the president. You're joking, aren't you? No, I'm not joking. Okay. I, I think you may have sold it a little cheap, but it's good to be out of it. That's what Uberoki said. <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny, though, in a way. The Uber, the prison is what actually got me in contact with you and Uberoki at the same time. Yeah, I tell you what I don't like about the president was that fucking aftermarket bark finishing. Mark, Mark, Marky, Mark, 
Gentlemen. Mark. Mark. Oh, uh, Mark, super chat. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Howdy. Um, what do you, uh, Jets, Newhall's case, 2006 Submariner, date, box and papers, or 2008 no date sub with a box and no papers, or no date, two line sub with box and papers. Who's he asking? Just all of us. Um, I think he's just saying guys. Got just get a get any any Rolex sub is cool. Just fucking pull the trigger. Don't fuck around. Do it. Do it. Of the of the three, which would you prefer? Hey, come on up by me again. Two thousand six sub sub date box and papers. Yep. Two thousand eight no date sub with box, but no papers, or no date two line sub with box and papers. Depends on the price. You, you, you're leaving one of the key components out. It's all about the money, fuckers. It's all about the fucking money. Money, 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 fuckers. There's the Archie we know and love. If you take okay, the... Uh, it depends market. on the price. It depends on the fucking price. Which one is the bargain? They're all good watches. Which <laughs> one is the bargain? you got to go in there and get the one that is the bargain. Simple you know, as that. that. Naturally, Archie's going to always want the combo meal deal. So, I, and I agree, price is the determining factor. But in price the, is everything. Service doesn't matter. In the I got kicked out of car dealers for saying that. In the theoretical world, though, if you just had to eliminate price, which of those watches would you want? I'd probably take that ceramic. Date. It depends on the price. Right. I'd so like. Have... Let me say this: Maserati, Ferrari, Lamborghini. Holden or Chevy Nova. It depends which one is the deal. Meal deal, fuckers. Marky, oh, Marky, okay. can I please ask Five you very quickly? Sorry. Five dollars. No, we have super chats. We're behind. Tanzil, five dollars super chat. Which name should be given to Archie's new piece? Tag her piece, buddy. Go <laughs> nice. Tag boar, drag hoyer. <laughs> I'd say tag herpes money go. You know why? Th don't name it that. If you name it that, once he sells it, he'll get another one because herpes always comes back. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, five dollars super chat. Louis Toledo, Clyde, you slip. You skip my super chat. Also, if Archie sells his Patek, what will he buy? Okay, let me go. Okay, all are okay. Mark C says all the same. All are the same price. So you guys answer that, and I'll try to find the lost super chat. I'd probably go with the 2006 with papers because papers are starting to become very valuable, okay? I don't know why. Normally, I used to take off 200 bucks for no papers, but papers are now worth a lot more. Okay. Hands on. Sorry. Which, okay, keep Mark, what's the new chance for me? I'm going to have to scroll back. Oh, Hotsey's on the line. Hey, Hotsey, how are you? Mike wants to know, what if they're all the same price? You know, that's what I said. Take the 2006 yes. ceramic with papers because the papers are oh. starting to mean a lot now. That's what okay. I said. Here's, here, here's the original Super Chat by Louis Toledo. Arch, you say you're not a hoarder, yet you buy three shitters back to back from bad to worse. <laughs> Ooh. Three, what are the three shitters? Tag Hoya. Yeah. What else Too did bright. I buy? The two, two bright okay. Yeah, but I've only got one Brightling. But you flipped them. But you bought the last three that you bought. Yeah, okay. I, I understand. I think I got okay. mental problems, okay? Tanzil and sorry. Uh, Mark, did you spend more time matching your Hilfiger sweater to your computer chair to the horrendous mint green walls as you did that shit steel fish? Well, you know, I have two comments about that. First... I want to show that Tanzil's, is this going to show? Tanzil's comment came up in the same mint green, lime green, shitty color <laughs> as my chair and my sweater. So that's, it's a little ironic there. What I want to say is that um, my- You know, Hellfinger I'm wearing Hellfinger glasses. I'm wearing Hellfinger specs. Did you know yeah, that? But I, I didn't know that, but I would, did you say Hellfinger? <laughs> Hellfinger, yes. Hellfinger. Hellfinger. <laughs> The confession is is that I bought this at Goodwill for three dollars about a week ago. <laughs> so, that makes you a fat 
fashionista. That makes you a fashionista. It's, it's hey, it's vintage. <laughs> it's shabby yeah, chic. Vintage. Shabby yeah. chic. That's exactly. And you drive a Porsche. No, I Porsche. sold the Porsche. Porsche. What? Uh, okay. Porsche. We we it's what, Porsche. What, what the fuck, Mark? Yeah. What the fuck? What do you got now? You're gonna be very angry at me, Paul. <laughs> you're gonna be Tell very. You're gonna I'm be fucking very... getting angry already. What? Why did you sell the Porsche? Well, you know, I'm a dog trainer, so a I wanted to. Dog did a turd in it. A dog did a turd in it. It's called an occupational hazard. I'm gonna. The ashtrays got full. The ashtrays got full. Don't smoke in it. Well, actually, it was time for an oil change, <laughs> so oh. I got rid of it right before I had to do the oil change. But um. You're gonna be upset with me. Give me a second. Let me find the picture. I'll yes. Um, okay. Also, while he's doing that, let's catch up. Five dollar super chat from Neo. It's Eastern Orthodox Easter. This is a busy week, and I need to drop off. I'll watch y'all later. New York punter who also stole my old avatar. Arch, on your advice, I called off my wedding and bought two steel stunners that are collecting dust in the bank safe. Marriage in the Western world. No, thank you. Okay, yeah, I got no beef with that. All right, I'm putting up my I'm putting up my new vehicle. I I wish we had a better way for me to do this. Um, what is no. it? No. <laughs> what is it? No, it's a Ford. It can't <laughs> no, be. Doesn't it look like a Range Rover though? Look, it look does. Range... It does look like a Range Rover. Oh, it's very Range Rover esque. What is it? Yeah, oh okay. yeah, I see what you're saying. Kind of like. Kind of like how Archie's watch kind of looks like a real Hoyer. <laughs> it's a one with herpes. Okay, so it's a Ford Explorer, but before you blow your stack, Platinum Edition. Platinum, my friend. Platinum Edition. Why? Is, Why? You, you, oh, you, look like you, you look like you just pooped your pants, Paul. You um, had a Porsche. Why would you trade a Porsche for a Ford? Well, um, yeah, I like it. I like this Ford, though. I'm a, I'm a bit of a Cretan. I like Breitling, and uh, I like Ford. Okay, so hang on. Before you crucify me, my my 2018 Ford, I, I could, like, start it up from my phone. I could tell the car where it's going from my phone. It has every piece of tech you've ever, you could ever imagine um, on, the, oh. on this car. It parks itself. It unparks uh, itself. None, none says $2 Bagel Sport Range Rover. Yes. I, 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 I'm in agreement with the two dollar. Why rate. can I ask you why, why, why? I don't get an answer. Yeah, I, I, because I have to haul dogs and crates around, and I just couldn't fit any. I couldn't really fit dogs and dogs. How much crates. did you get for the Porsche? How much did you get the trade in on the Porsche? Right around forty, right around forty thousand US. And what did this new one cost? Well, they list out at like fifty-five US because they're loaded with everything. Everything is leather. I mean, heated seats, cooled seats, front seats, back seats. Everything is like, uh, you know, the bagel sports here. Finest Corinthian leather, and um, it lists for fifty-four. But there were a lot of incentives, and I negotiated a good deal, so I, I got them down. How much? I think right around forty-nine-five. So you had to put in ten for this piece of shit. Yeah, I did. But I listen, my 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 Macan was a 2015 with like almost no tech and I still have 365 horsepower. I my my vehicle goes 0 to 60 in 6, which is only like 2 tenths of a second lower than the Porsche. So it's got some balls, my friend. It's got hairy big hairy balls. Tom it's Austin Ford, makes is, Tom Austin is making the comment, so the Ford is good for dogging. It is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I knew you'd be up, I knew you'd be a little upset with me. I know that's sort of like selling a Rolex to fund a Breitling, but yeah. five dollars super chat. Uh, five dollars super chat. Um, I remember a time when Archie wore Patek in Benzes. Now this channel is tag horrors, horrors, and used Ford Explorers. I'll have you know my Ford Explorer. I'll have you know my oh, Ford Explorer is not used. Is a 2018 Platinum Edition, and I bought it with like two miles on it. How dare you? <laughs> okay. It's used well, now. I, it's used I, now. I, After you've had it for a week, it's called used car. Yes. Well, now that I've been fisted by Ford, I'm a little used also. But who, who among us isn't? At least it's not a purple penis pimple popper, is it? Mm. Huh. Can okay. I say That's this to you, Mark? You can. Which one are you talking I'm, about? Mark, I'm disappointed. 
I knew, I knew you would be. That's why I didn't tell you. Marky, can I ask you a bit of personal advice? Of course. Chevy, not Ford. Should, should I? What do you think of the Monaco? Yes, no. Tell me truthfully. Yeah. Okay. Archie Lecture. This is on watchlords.com. Archie Luxury yeah. addresses guilt. Here's another one from our favorite Aussie with this. <laughs> that's going to start to grow spreading from the sides of his head. It appears that hey, he's a regular down under play Mother it. Teresa. Play it. What is Let's have a look. Guilt. <laughs> that's Joe Paterno, the winningest coach in history. Jerry Sandusky charged with sexual. <laughs> And by, and by the way, it's not it's, and I'm the co-host is wearing a bagel sport, so it you know we're not I don't think we're done with this downhill ride yet. Okay, Mark, slide, slide into many, a five five dollars. Yeah, how, uh, Mark uh, five dollars. Stephen K. Mark, how many twenty-one-year-old Rip boys can you fit in the new car? And do you have plastic protectors on the sheets? Uh, let's just say that I could. Well, I. I, I guess I'm going to have to ask Stephen for clarification. Is this alive or dead and chopped up? Because it kind of, you know, I, I can fit seven live ones and about 14 dead ones. So it just kind of depends on, you know, your definition. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny said I'm $2 super chat by Bing Tinye. Goldberg, you're literally making me cry. You know, that's what you said last time. <laughs> You're so big. You're so. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the Archie Luxury Channel for 2012. Today, I'd like to talk about guilt and collecting. Does Archie Luxury have any guilt for his collection? Fuck no me. fucking way. Now, this is an interesting thing. I now, real quick, does the H stand for horned? Because I think horned Paul Pluto is that what the initial stands yeah. for? That's exactly what it stands for. I, I, I wanted to say um, it's about time. Sorry, Mark. Go ahead. Well, I wanted to make the comment that I, Archie, Paul, Paul, Archie, I've been with you since since then, and um, I remember you used to change your um, you used to change your introductions annually, and um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm having a small flashback. In fact, I think my hemorrhoid is twitching from the uh, introduction, <laughs> the 2012 introduction, because you flog. Each introduction so desperately, so badly, in, in the sense that you, you in, in the average year, you, you, you put out something like 2,500 videos. So by the time yeah. a loyal subscriber, you know, watches one year's worth of your videos, we can't shake loose the sound of that year's introduction. There was a, there was a piano one that nearly had me opening my wrists. Yes. That one right there. It just, yeah. just, and then, then following that, Came you with the yacht and the cigars, and um, yes. you know, but it was, all, it was all up from there. You know, but by, like, by April, I wanted to kill myself. Well, I kind of like the more recent one, like the hard rock one. Well, you know what? What happened? You to see me my is, rock video? Don, 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 Don. 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 I like, see, I like, the thing is, I love that one because the words I keep hearing: Minotaur. I'm a Minotaur. I'm a Minotaur. Minotaur, to anyway, we well, like, like, okay. like uh, by the way, I'm like Clive. Clive. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, unlike you, Clive, I pay now. I pay the you know for the YouTube Red and all like that, so I can just one tap of my little iPhone and it just shoots ahead ten seconds. So, uh, Paul, I gotta confess, I, I don't listen to anybody's intro anymore, you know, let alone yours. And um, you know that is that's preserving okay. my, preserving my mental health. AC3, no worries, it's okay. Five dollar super chat, Mike C. AC3 is sixty four hundred, a good price for a two thousand one no date sub steel bezel with box and papers. There is no steel bezel. This is a trick question. It's an aluminum bezel. Aluminum. Look, it's a bit expensive. I would have thought. What do you think? I think um, sixty four hundred for a no date sub. Ooh, two line or four line? What does he say? Too much. No, it's a 2001, so it has it, it's that's past. Uh, I don't think they. I, I think that's past the two day. I think they're in the chronic. I think they're the four line by that time. But you know the the thing is, is that these that's expensive. Watches, that is that is dear. 
they are shooting up, but not that long ago, you could buy that same watch for about a thousand dollars less. So I, 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 I think I'd keep looking. Yeah, I don't think it's a bargain. It's probably not going to lose terribly much on it, but fuck, it's it's expensive. Well, you know what that's happened true. when when that's Rolex. True. I got mine. I got mine. The the two day the two line no date for like fifty two hundred about a year ago. Yeah, me too. I think I paid like forty nine hundred. Here's what happened when um, when the authorized dealers ran out of steel sports Rolex, all the used stuff shot up in value. But oh wait wait wait, I'm sorry. I paid forty three for mine. <laughs> I paid like forty nine hundred. But what happened is the I win in, in the United. Well, I'm sure you're you bought it off a corpse. You know how you do. But yeah. The, uh, here in the United States, what? Steel Sports Rolex is repopulating in the authorized dealer. So I think these uh, crazy prices that the used stuff have been drawing is going to drop back a little bit. So I would wait a little bit and see if you can't pick that up cheaper. Or find a corpse. Or find a corpse like you, you know, find a friend of friendly funeral director. There's another you know, one. You know, you know, you know who had a you know who had a sixteen six ten like Clive's who actually had it stolen from his corpse? My yeah. hero, James Gandolfino from The Sopranos. He, no, he, sure. he, he had, had a sixteen six ten that was stolen off his wrist in the ambulance. The, yeah, the ambulance yeah. driver was charged. Exactly. That's Don't trust thing. those fucking Italian ambulance drivers. That is a sad thing. We have another super chat. Arch. Yeah. Go and get to it now. Louis Toledo. Arch, sell your Patek and get a 2008 Cartier Roadster. It would go great with the Tudor, Scheitling, and your new Fag Hoyer. Ooh, fag. Well, no, that's that's offensive. <laughs> no, it's, not. it's got a, it's got a pH. You know what? Um, you had a roadster, didn't you, Paul? I know. Yes, yes. I was thanking yeah. Jesus when I sold it. Yeah. Tansil, I'm sorry. Five dollars super chat. Mark, if you saw one, a portly Australian bloke at one of those seedy Chicago gay clubs, okay, Tansil, it's spelled G H E Y, wearing a tag Hoyer. Please describe what would go through your mind. Well, I would be probably looking for the nearest vet of lubricant or, um, or uh, what do you call it, Crisco. Just, you know, there, there's a guy who needs to be cleansed from the inside out. So I'm just saying I, I could probably go elbow deep because he's portly. Elbow deep. Glove up. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hots, you... now, Hots, now, Hotsey is um, Tanzil, <laughs> Tanzil. He'd hit it. And by the way, I'm going to be at a CDK club tomorrow. What's today? Is today Saturday? What day is this? Yeah, tomorrow. I'll be at a CDK yes. club tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to a show with some friends. So Nice. Which yeah. one are you going to? You missed. Oh, I'm not going to announce that because some maniac will meet me there. Um, <laughs> I missed a super chat. You did. Tanzil. Tag Monaco Hoyer Rancher. That's you, I guess, because <laughs> you're the rancher. Okay, uh, I'm going back. I don't see. It. Oh, yep, yeah. it was a two dollar super chat. No, do no. I have a Hoyer. I have a real Hoyer. Okay, do we play the video? No, fuck. I think we're Wait, off the video, you got, aren't we? You got, two more. you got more super chats. Look now. Oh, NY punter. Okay. Uh, Hotsey says I'm sure it's on Halstead Street. Well, Hotsey, you ought to know. <laughs> no, she's a, she's a chick. Yes, I, I see that, but she ought to know. Yeah, actually, they call them lady boys in certain parts of the world. No, it's, no, no. There's no, no, no. I don't okay. know. I don't, I don't know from Hot Seat, but I, but I do know from Halstead Street. New York punter asks, AC3, move to Tasmania, your new class punter class. Okay, wow. none, $2. Two, $2 super chat for none. I thought you had to go for Eastern Orthodox shit there, none. Mark is the Count of Monte Fisto. I appreciate that. That's, that's nice, that's, actually. That's that's good. Yeah, I take well. I, I, I take that, but then the, I not. I mean, the title, not the fist. <laughs> You're gonna take it, boy. You're gonna take it. Can I keep that moniker? I want to keep that. I like that. Yeah. Go, yeah. Well, I, I think you have to super chat Archie to uh, keep the month. I think I you have to be, super chat Archie to keep it, since true. it did kind of. Yeah. I'm, don I'm donating services instead. Marky, should I sell my paddock? Yes, no. Tell me. I've been offered 20, 20, 21 and a half thousand US. What'd you pay for it? It's irrelevant what I paid for it. Ah, it's all about the combo meal deal, my friend. Money is never irrelevant. If you can recoup your money from that, I don't want to call it a turd. It's a patek, but it's a it's an oddball, slightly too small, 
Difficult to sell. Okay, 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 but, Marky. There's four grand profit in it. I'm not a fucking charity, sunshine. Yeah, it's four thousand yeah. profit. Basically, the tag Hoya is free if I do that deal. Sell it, sell it now, and uh, sell it now, and, and keep having your four thousand dollars. You reckon sell it? Yes, because that's what's wrong, with, what's, what's wrong with the Calatro? I mean, what's wrong with the World Time? That's a fucking high it's end a, Patek. Listen, it's okay, a, it's, it's a nice watch, but God forbid you need service on that fucker. Two dollars super chat. It's not that expensive. I, yeah. It's not that expensive. Two dollars super chat from New York Hunter. Arch, have you ever? Betted a Taswegian? Yeah. Uh, I tried to, but she threatened to call the police. <laughs> she ran faster than you? Is that what happened? <laughs> the, reason that, the, the reason that you should sell it, I think, primarily is because it's an oddball. It's, it's not like the icon of the Patek line. It is. So, the world time is iconic. Okay, How Mike says it? you missed my $5 super chat. Shit, a brick. No, we didn't. We got that uh, one. Go back and look. Um, near Hunter. Well, and part of it, guys, is when you stack them on top of each other. He, he asked, is the $6,400 a good price for a 2001 no-date sub steel bezel with box and papers? We pointed out there is no steel bezel. It's an aluminum, it's an aluminum bezel, and we did not think it was such a great price. Oh, uh, yeah. $2 Ving Tinier. Nice prototype bagel sport. I think he's taking a, I think he's taking a, a, a poke at uh, Randy Munter. Mm. Well, he's pokeable. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. Are you going to sell? Are you, well, now, is I, that, actually, oh. I, actually, I actually took it to Tulsa and was showing the people there, <clears throat> all the watch guys there, and you know what they were saying? Looks like looks almost looks real. Is that what they said? <laughs> no, they, well, hold it. They no. What they were saying, I said the price point I got it for, and they're like, God, how do they even machine the bracelet for that amount? Yeah. Well, it's China. They do wonderful things. Now, but I wonder if the price of fake watches is going to go up now that Trump is, you know, in a, in a trade war with uh, with China. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo you know, will will fakes go up like fifty bucks? Will we pay more for Mugu Guy Pan? You know, inquiring minds want to know. You know what my wow. favorite Chinese? You know what my favorite Chinese food is? It's a soup, cream oh. of some young guy. Yes. Yes. Five dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry. Arch, please give the viewers three watches that you would buy with the funds from selling your Patek World Time. Note: This is a grand classic from Patek Philippe. I'm thinking about getting a fifty-one ninety-six. Manual wine Calatrava. I'm thinking about getting a Lang A1. And I'm thinking. Well, you're, I'm already thinking over, you're already over your sales budget. No, I, either one. Either one. Only one. And the other piece I'm thinking about getting is just getting steel sports Rolexes. Well, that the steel sports Rolexes is the conservative way to go. The Calatrava is oh, the classy okay. way to go. But you, you know what, honestly? $3 super chat by Matt Church in China. Oh, hey, Matt, while you're there, could you pick up a few more before the trade? Anyway, um, do it, Arch. Sell. Yeah, I'm with Matt. No, but though, okay, now, on the other hand, that means that AGV has a hotelology piece and Archie doesn't. Well, no, if he gets a Calatrava, he's got a more classic piece. Yeah, but until he gets it, if, if I don't, yeah, until I get it, I don't have nothing. Well, you know, like 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 Paul's gonna keep twenty four thousand dollars for more than like fifteen minutes. That won't happen. You I'll know, just one minute. I just gotta organize the pizza. One minute, guys. Okay. Bing Ting says, Bing Ting need five dollars super chat. Don't fight, make fun of replicas. My people have to work so work hard so you fuckers can pretend to have nice watches. <laughs> Well, and the sad part is that you're taking that money that you work so hard for and sending it to Archie, who doesn't work at all. I got three That's words to say to Vintenier. Three little what? words. Misa Hawney. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> you might be mistaking him for Fluffy Kitten. I'm just saying. Possible. I like a yeah, Fluffy Yeah, I think it's quite possible, yeah. I mean, I, technically, I don't think Ving is a Gaijin like Fluffy Kitten was. We have a super chat. It's a little nasty, but go ahead oh. and read it. Okay, we have two super chats. Uh, oh, at Clive, Orthodox Easter. 
Um, Mark, your April Fool's video was fucking shite. You should have uh, titled the video. I just enjoyed the first, my first fist of pussy. Okay. It, it, it would not have been my first time at that particular rodeo. Let, let us just say. Gotcha. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you. Uh, all right. children, believe it or not, I have, I have procreated and none of my children are in jail. That's all I got uh, Good. Michael Ferguson. Well, that's true. I'm like, never mind. Okay. Uh, Michael Ferguson. What about an Aquanaut, big boy? Discuss uh, it. That's the what? That's the, the Aquanaut oh. is for the people who, who can't get a hold of a Nautilus and just gave up. Not that Okay. Nice Richard Greenberg. <laughs> Seven dollars Canadian. I love Cliver's fifteen thirty. There are a couple on eBay for twelve for twelve thousand. Thank you, Richard. Uh, hold on. Um, who's 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 speakers on? Who's got the chat on? Somebody's saying that the Patek is a cheesy Patek to own, and I don't think that it's cheesy. I'm just a little disturbed at the size because I think it's a 36 millimeter, and you know, there's a lot 30, of no 37, 37. Wow, for, you know that you know, if you're gonna stand on ceremony for a millimeter, then you're just a little too small. No, it's not five inches; it's five and an eighth inch, honey. I swear. Um, it, the, here's the problem. Oh. Uh, Ten dollar super chat by M Emil Emil. How? We'll just call them email. Okay, folks, I'm considering buying my first watch. What's your suggestion for a pre-owned watch under five thousand dollars? And the idea is it holds its value well. How do you not know what? that that's Emil? That name is Emil. Emil. Monaco. Who's got to go for a tag? Hoya Monaco. Go for a Monaco. Don't. Um, you're gonna go from a Patek to a tag Hoyer Monaco, which is basically a copy of a of an old watch. There you go. Omega. Well, I'll Speedmaster, but no, I'm Omega. By the way, Patina, <laughs> Yellow Dentist, and Ghost Vessel. Um, okay, what my suggestion actually would be the Omega. I hate to say it, the man on the moon, but. Mm, I would go 5,000, 5,500, and, and, get, a, and get, a, a, get an Explorer, a 40 millimeter Rolex Explorer. Because at yeah. $5,000. He's, you know, he's you're tucked, Emil. You are tucked right up, right up to use Rolex territory, vintage, mm -hmm. and that is going to hold its value better than any Omega that you could potentially buy. So you're in an awkward yeah. spot. You, you know, you five five thousand to fifty five hundred. Save a little bit of money, get the Explorer, Polar, or otherwise, but get the forty millimeter Explorer two. That's what or or the uh, or the thirty nine millimeter Explorer one. Yes. Okay. Okay. But it's cool to have that the GMT function. That's all. That's a that's a really nice thing to have. Okay, five dollars super chat. I think the rare bud should be a title given to any actual non shitter <laughs> remaining in Archie's collector collection now that he's not getting that now that he's getting drag whores and shitlings. Okay, actually, maybe we could hold, maybe we could hold something where people could pay like five dollars to re, to give your ne name the new. Uh, Give your watch its new insult title because I mean, we've been actually universally agreeing on insult titles for your watches for free and you know why not why should he make a buck off that speaking of which need to. super chat yeah, yeah i got it yeah. uh, okay e email i don't like tag i like omega and rolex watch which you omega man on the moon i like any specifics um yeah, you know, just the typical uh, uh, Hesselite um, manual wound uh, on a bracelet. Big presentation box. Um, jo Homa sh I mean, uh, Joma shop. Try to get as inexpensively as you can. I think that'd be as good of a decent one as, as any. And if you get and that you one, you're, you're under five thousand dollars. And if you get an Explorer two, you're Right around five thousand dollars. You're not going to go wrong with either one of them, but a Rolex is a Rolex. You miss New York punter who says, "I don't know." Go scroll back. First a tag, next you'll be buying subs and pedo re and pedo pedo reeking pedo recoing miners. Oh. 
Well, know, I've we, watched the story behind that 50 yeah. 7 11. Now, okay, Louis Toledo, we'll, we'll get back. To, remind me here in a second. I'll hold the watch to remind me. Uh, okay. Did I, I, okay. Oh, yeah. First, yeah. First tag will be buying subs and pedrico, ped, pedo reeking miners. Okay. Insult name. Tag Kirby's Money Go or, or TGV Hoyer. Also, you missed one. Okay. Who says. What? What is that music? Who's playing, who's playing music? Oh! Is Dr. Bruce? Yes! Turn down who's the music. music. It's better. Are okay. I think it might be. I'll turn it off, okay? You Try think it. you might be. Did you bring enough gum for everyone? There's two other people in the chat. Did you bring enough gum for everyone in the chat? Stephen K says, I say call it a female name, Dawn Keyballs, Donkey Balls. Well, the problem is, is that that's what Don Haynes, Russian hooker, calls his member. So we can't use that. It's already taken. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, yeah, Don Keyballs. Okay. Actually, no. This this is not, this is a bagel sport. It is not a 5711. But amazing the stuff that Chinese can put out for next to nothing. I mean, as a matter of fact, we're passing it around. All the watch guys are looking at it. Just, I mean, you know, is it a tag Hoyer? No, it's it's more. It is more attractive than it looks on camera. But just what they can, what they're capable of doing, is just astounding. Yeah. Really, they have tremendous manufacturing capacity and labor is very cheap. We have a ten dollar super chat from Emil who yeah. says, "I saw some Omega Man on the Moon Pro for two K, two thousand dollars on Chrono Twenty Four. Is that possible?" Yeah. It is. You might want to check. It. Yeah, because I'm surprised we're not seeing more of them because they're selling new on Joma Shop for, you know, for 33. I think eventually, if they are 35, I think eventually that's going to bring the price down for them. Eventually, if enough of them are sold on Joma Shop. The thing is, they may be coming out of a, you know, a Tasmanian or a Greek dealer. So make sure that you use the the Chrono 24 escrow service. I would be right. I would be sure to use their escrow service. Buying overseas. Don't shoot. Dwight shoot ten dollars super chat. Say zombie Jesus came back to life is risen today. What watch should the world's biggest cult leader buy as his only watch? Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Well, the the proposition um, is wrong because Jesus is not the biggest cult leader. There are there are more Buddhists in the world than there are Christians. Just F Y U R A. But okay, let's take let's let's examine this as though he was factually correct. I think he should wear a Patek World Time. Because then he would no. know what time I, it was all around the world. I, I think I think he should buy a sin because Jesus died for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I almost choked. That was awesome. And the last time I almost choked, I was on a date. It's very rare that that happens when it's not date night. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> very good. A sin. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, yeah. What would Jesus say? Probably ow. You remember the Sam Kinison joke? Which? About Jesus on the cross. I, hey, uh, Peter, I can see your house from here. Was that that one? No, no, no. It's just like yeah, yeah. I read the Bible. I've seen, I've seen, uh, you know, read read how it had happened, and all the Christians are there on the foot of the cross saying it's a shame he is to die, and Jesus is up is up there saying, maybe I wouldn't have to die if someone to get a letter and a pair of pliers. <laughs> okay, super chat from Emil asking more. Go ahead, you do it, Clyde. Okay, Emil, say you buy an Omega Man on the Moon for twenty five hundred a few years old. How much could you then get from it if you want to sell it one year from now? I'd say, <laughs> well, I, I'd say I don't think I don't I don't think you'd lose any money really, because to me, to, well, so far there appears to be a disconnect because Joma Shop is pumping out the new ones for like thirty five, and the used ones don't seem are almost unaffected by that. So I I think you if you. I think you'd probably turn on sell for twenty five. 
you know, the, you got to remember something though. If you sell it on eBay, uh, then you're going to right away and you sell it for the same money you paid for it, you're going to lose 13% because eBay charges 10% um, fee for the auction and PayPal charges 3% for the payment. So there's your, there's 13% right away just to sell something. And um, also you're taking a risk um, that you are defrauded of and uh, you're defrauded of your right. watch. You know, I, I think you're right, Clive, but the one issue you got to consider is uh, if you don't have much experience selling luxury watches, you, you have to really know what you're doing to avoid a ripoff there. Okay, and someone else pointed out maybe I should be recommending the first Omega in space over the professional. Well, in the five thousand dollar limit, you know, actually when I was in Tulsa, I saw a Omega Flightmaster for twenty five hundred. No, no comment. No, nothing. I'm sorry, I was distracted. I, I was wondering what kind of pizza Paul ordered. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see. I'm going to get something. Would you mind uh, watching everything? Would you mind watch babysitting for a second? I'm going to go. Uh, I will do it. You, can, go, you can go, uh, you know, uh, have a have a quick trip. But like his mic is off. He's left us. I, I don't even know what he's doing. But you go ahead. Okay. And I'll, I'll entertain the truth. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What, let me do one. Okay. Thing 10 year. Um, okay. Can you tell a story when having a luxury watch helped you in life? I'm still debating whether it's worth the money. I might, I make good money, but there's better investments. Mike, I want you to, I'm sorry, Mark, I will let you take it. All right. Well, look, the reality of it is, is that uh, sadly, uh, your car is a lot more likely to get you laid than your watch. Um, your, your stock portfolio is a lot more likely to help you retire than your watch. Um, the only thing really that a, a watch is not an investment. And the best thing. Hey, you, what, are you, what are you saying that for? Look at my life. It's all good. All in watches. Most people, most people don't make money on watches. Most, the, average, the, average schmuck, the, average, the average schmuck going to lose money on a watch. So. It, it, it's like selling a Porsche to get a Ford Exploder. Exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what it's like. You, but but let me let me tell you something, Emil. Um, money is not the reason that you buy a luxury watch. Um, pride, fascination, obsession, enjoyment of engineering. The fact that you can wear some kind of beautifully engineered device on your wrist that means technology that has been modernized, but is still essentially similar to what was developed 400 years ago. These are all the reasons that men wear watches. So, and, and you wear a luxury watch to feel good about yourself, to say, I can afford something, I make decent money, and I have good taste, and I Last, so I'm going to wear something other than a Timex or some sports shitter that you buy at, you know, Michael Kors. So there's a lot of reasons to buy a luxury watch, but, you know, an investment is not exactly one of them. Now, that being said, when you buy a luxury watch, you're just a schmuck if you pay retail. So don't pay retail and buy something that will retain some of its value so that, like the rest of us, when you get bored of it in a couple of years, you can flip it for not too much of a loss. Or maybe a small gain if you bought well and go on to the next thing. Um, you know that that's what that's what we do. Eric, Emil, why not just get a super good replica then? Uh, no, that's not because number one, you're encouraging organized crime. It will give you wrist cancer. There's a simple reason for that. You you the money that you save will go straight into chemotherapy. That's why and psychiatry. Right. Don't do it. That's a trap. Exactly. Your fingers will turn black and fall off. Hey, by the way, just got an update. Max Liverson just got the JLC. Oh, I thought he hit puberty. I thought it was going to get exciting around here. <laughs> don't say that. This is. Don't say that, please, Marky. Be careful. Be careful, Marky. Do you think uh, I really am making the yeah, biggest Archie's mistakes? Archie's already on thin ice after seeing him that graphic watch. <laughs> What's up? Do you think I, I'm crazy to sell my paddock or not? What do you think? Seriously, I, I no bullshit. Sell it for a $4,000 profit, do it immediately. Okay. Immediately. Do it immediately. And, and count your lucky stars because you, by all rights, you should be breaking even or losing a smidgen of money to – to get rid of that. It's an odd buyer. It's it's not an average buyer is gonna is gonna buy that watch. A Calatrava is another animal altogether. Uh, uh, a Nautilus. These and are watches. That, it's still an amazing bank per buck watch. No it's doubt. It's a complicated paddock. 
No doubt. And okay. Two dollar super chat. Two dollar super chat. Why don't we see enough Zenith El, Prim El Primos? It's a soft brand, fuckers. It's a soft brand. Um, however, we can see one right on uh, Clive's wrist. He stole it from a uh, octogenarian, if I recall the story correctly. Okay, emo. No, that's no, that's the DH. That's actually at the Rolexes. Emo Hedrick, five dollars. Thank you, Emil. If you don't let me ask him, I'm seriously sleep. Okay, what? Where would you buy to go watch Corona Twenty Four? Um, there's all sorts of places. Um, watch Recon. Oh, he's I taking another personal. Listen, no, places to buy watches include. No, 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 um, no, no, no sorry, sorry, I sent the wrong. Hit the mute button, Paul. Yeah, no, 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 that's 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 that's. Oh damn it! We can no longer listen. However, we can oh, see shit. his. Yep. However, yep. we we can see his ample thighs. They are ample, don't you think? Um, I, I'm no position to. I I didn't really catch a good look at his thighs. I didn't say shapely. I, however, I did say ample. Um, listen, well, okay, then, of, yeah. well, in that case, definitely, yes. There's a lot of gray market dealers, um, and so you would look there. Um, those of us who know what we're doing can shop eBay. Uh, I would avoid eBay if you don't know what you're doing as a buyer. Or, um, or Craigslist. Right. Well, so, the thing is, if, if, the brand that can be, if it's a brand that can be authenticated, if it's a brand that can be authenticated, then Craigslist or eBay might be viable. Well, that's... You know that's what, yeah, but listen, you got to stick with it. If you, we, we clearly have a beginner here. You need to buy from a trusted source like Joma Shop or Kenny New Yen, and you will probably pay 10% more than you would if you just shopped your own good deal, but you will not get ripped off, and that is worth that 10% if you're a beginner. We have a lot of Vietnamese here in Oklahoma City, surprisingly enough, and everyone with that name insists it's pronounced win. Well, you got to ask, Benny. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Well, do you think we could? Do you think? Okay, guys, super chat, super, hey, someone super chat. Moments, I'll be right back. Okay. Someone super chat Archie Money to call Vinny Nguyen to beg to get the sponsorship back. That's a good idea. <laughs> Bye from back page. Well, okay, it's just me again. Tra la 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 la. Anyway, like I said, it's just kind of well. And I'm thinking, if this is a cheap replica of the Chinese are doing, I kind of wonder what the how good their good ones are. You know, um, the, the downside about them is that you know they've devastated the Pan Panerai resell. Uh, Panerai resell it basically is on top of everything else. Uh, Tired Designs, uh, Money Grabbing Swiss, is that also the Glorious People's Republic are putting out ones that are, can be almost indistinguishable from Panerai's own in-home movements. So, yeah. All right. Kenny Wynn. Kenny New One. Uh, I don't know why my voice is... Muted monitor. Well, it could be. I usually do mine early in the morning. I just might be a little bit more sedate first thing in the morning and so late at night. Uh, Clyde, did I watch the funeral of a show without me last night? No. Truthfully, no. <laughs> Hotsey says, Mark and Archie bailed to phone sex each other. Nice. Um, you know. Fuck me. I'm back, like like a fungus. Right. Hey, guys, I'm oh. back, too. Oh, my God, Hotsi was right. They said that you guys left because you're phone, giving phone sex to each other. Well, um, you know, actually, uh, I'm in uh, I'm in Brisbane right now in the next room. Brisbane, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is all on that, is, that, is, that is way too tasteful for Archie Sales. We've been oh, married. I've got, yes. carpet, I've got carpet beetles, and we've been married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually in Australia, the the carpet beetles are part of the consummation of the marriage. Exactly. You know, I was once in a in a in a straight bar with a with a boyfriend of mine, 
and we had to pay. Sorry, five dollars super chat, Mark. Uh, any other suggestions on purchasing watch? I'm a beginner, excited for my first watch purchase. P.S. Say heart, say hard, Archie. Have sent money for video before. Okay, Archie. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Email, email has actually super chatted you a couple of times. He's also sent money for a video. He's wondering what what to get for a first luxury watch under five thousand, and where to get it from. Look, the two the two watches I've always said now are the the Tudor Black Bay Heritage You've and said the Amiga the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That's the two entry level watches. Of course, it used That's to be Polar Explorer. It used to be Polar Explorer in the five thousand. They're too expensive. But... They're too expensive now. Polar Explorers are no longer a bargain buy. And um, I, I mean, if you can get one for five thousand bucks, go for it. Go for it. You know, you can get a Black Bay, a Tudor Black Bay with the ETA movement, and it has the cute little smiley face on the dial for around three thousand dollars, and that's a nice little entry level. The thing that kills me is, is that like ten minutes ago it was like twenty two hundred dollars. It's shot up a little bit lately. Yeah, but that's because of, it's got the ETA movement. That's now become the desired one. Yeah, but it's still only three thousand. You can you can get okay. the new one $5, for less. Five dollars super chat from Dwight Schrute. We got to spend a lot of money to put all this equipment together, but I feel like I'm doing my passion. <laughs> I feel like I keep having my five thousand dollars. It's not just a matter of uh, money; it's uh, my passion. <laughs> hey, I didn't get mine yet. Oh, good. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to send me a copy of your book, and I would use the the package from your book. I could do that. Hey, text me. Hey, text me your address. Yeah, Mark, I, I, I wanted to promote your book on my channel too. If you send me the book, I'll fucking promote it. Text me the address yeah, where I'm sending it to. And promote it, he means sell it on eBay. Yeah, I do know what he means. But anyway, both of no. you just text me your. Text I, I was going to personally, Mark. I hate dogs. Okay. Yeah, I know you don't like competing but, for picking on your questions. You like to be the guy. I know. don't. I don't. I'm more than happy, Mark. If you give me a few of them, I can give them away as prizes on the channel to promote this. I will do it. All you got to do is just tell me where I'm shipping them. Just text, email what, me. Like, tell me where they're going. You have it. You you have. Clive, Clive has my stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I do have it actually. I do have it. Yeah, Mark. I do have your address. Clive, Clive just sent me his address, so I'll uh, I'll, I'll take care of you, son. And then, uh, Paul, I'll send you some, too. Thanks, Mom. Well, if you, it's only if you, want, if you want me to promote it. You know, I don't know. If you want me to promote it, you want sales, okay, you don't want sales. Five dollars super chat by Louis Toledo. How does that Monaco compare to a Grand Seiko? Oh, man, that's tough. I'd rather have, have a Grand Seiko than a Monaco, but that's me. What, what about you guys? Ooh, I, the Monaco is very cool watch. Oh, let's cool. be honest. Jokes aside, the Monaco is the only tag worth having, really. It still says tag on there somewhere. Uh, Grand Seiko, I, I, Grand Seiko over Monaco. Ooh, you reckon? That's what it's I. It's an icon, but it's it's the icon in the Hoyer range. You understand? It's a it's a re-release re of the icon in the Hoyer range. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, the original is the thing. Yeah, I mean, do you want to screw Bridget Bardot or somebody who sort of looks like Bridget Bardot? Oh, actually, that's a probably actually, a really Have you seen Bridget Bardot lately? Have you seen yeah, Bridget like, Bardot lately? Have you? You can probably get her. <laughs> back, like, the, you, back the track up. Man. Yeah. Now you can get her. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I think oh. you could get her for like two shampoos and a hotel soap. <laughs> hey, and the thing is, you know, you're saying this bullshit to me. You know, a 5711 is no different than my tag Hoya Monaco. How, how do you figure? One is a Patek. 5711 is a re release of the original Jumbo. Yes, it says Patek on there, not tag Hoyer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a small difference. Very subtle difference. Yes, I would say. <laughs> this is not a super chat, but John Richards said skin t skin tag. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Pizza's coming, by the way. Just letting you know, I had to shoot off before I had my my. Uh, you shot my off little... right on camera. 
no no i had to, <laughs> i had to get organized the pizza it's going to be coming I, i've ordered pizza you were guys wanted me to eat i owe someone and eating a pizza on camera i got garlic bread and pizza coming no worries what, what's on the pizza pepperoni and a uh, a beef and onion here's your pizza and and guess what domino's in australia they charge a 10 percent surcharge on sundays can you believe this fucking bullshit? This okay well that's that's yeah they're infringing upon your religious beliefs, Archie. Do you, do you pay extra for pizzas on a fucking Sunday? You got to be no, joking. No. Not. Nope. Okay. No. Matt, a couple of no. While uh, okay. On Sunday we get uh, free pizza. <laughs> Hotsey is wanting to know who's the naked dude in the background. I don't know who she's talking to. No, in behind Mark. Look behind Mark. Look behind Mark on the screen. No. The naked girl on the in the picture on the picture the painting. No, no, other way, Mark. Other way, other way. No, the other way, Mark. That one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, that's uh, me. That's that. That's a portrait of me in my head. <laughs> okay. Now Matt Church uh, calls it the tag horn suicide Hamilton khaki on a TGV NATO. Hey. Ooh. And the other thing is, too, guys, you can't tell me the this current Speedy is not a homage to the original Speedy. That is not okay. No, wait. No, that it is not even a use the same movement. It doesn't even use the three, two, one movement. It uses an eight, one, eight, six, one movement. Okay. Wait. Who? Okay. Wait. Are you talking about the one on my wall? That's not a chick. That I mean, that's not a dude. That's a chick. No, no. We're talking about Mark's wall. They had a guy who's naked. It's really fucking X-rated. Okay. Not that X-rated. Okay. <laughs> um. Ronnie Paul wants to, Ronnie Paul wants to know, uh, Archie, did you listen to ACDC as a youngster? Yes, yes. And uh, my favorite, my, one of my favorite guys is called Stevie Wright, who turned down a gig on ACDC. I used to live next door when I was growing up to uh, John Denver's parents. You're joking. No, He's they're so the cool. Duchendorf. He's so. Yeah. I, I met John Denver. Did you know that? This is before or after he crashed his ultralight. No, no, no. This is this before. was in the seventies. I met him in Sydney. He was. He went to a bank, and my I said, oh, and my parents said, "That's John Denver." They. I shook his hand. John Denver. He he was a very and nice then, guy. Did you ever meet John so, Denver? No. Well, no. I don't think so. I know he was. A, he was in Hollywood at the time, and uh, he may, if he came over, no one said anything. It's not like it's not like we was coming. I was coming home from grade school one day, and there was a limousine all of a sudden in the drive in the neighbor's driveway. And what were his parents like? I think his dad was retired in the military. I think just really just was non he a nice guy? I we didn't we didn't really go over. I mean, they seemed to be nice. It's not like I'd go over and say howdy and just come over and have coffee with them as a six year old. Were they well off? No idea. Like I said again, this is young. This is early childhood. Yeah, but your parents didn't have a mortgage. They were quite well off, weren't they? Hotsey, pay somebody no. your questions answered. Dwight Schrute says, and you will keep having your two dollars. Yes. Okay. So is is John Travolta your your type? I'm not answering that question unless I see a dollar super chat money come in. Uh yeah. No fucking way. There's no fucking way. She'll no no. Well, that she doesn't get her answer. Okay. And it was a good answer too. It was worth a dollar. It was worth a buck fifty Canadian, but still. Uh, text me the answer, and I'll use it to my advantage later on, if you don't mind. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> now, now, guys, I'm gonna, I want to well, ask. Hotsey, and Hotsey say, I'm not paying you fuckers any money. You guys need to be paying me. I got a shampoo and a juice for you, honey. I buy you breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Super chat. Kyle, yeah, Kyle KR. I got drunk and bought three watches on Monday. That's a light day for me. Brightling Heritage 42, Monaco Caliber 11, and Zenith El Primero Classic Cars. Opinions. Um, okay. I don't know the classic cars edition, but other than that, you did pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Out. We love classic cars. 
El Primero classic cars. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice car. Nice watches. Um, however, officially, since Archie has two of them, I must officially discourage them. But the Zenith is cool. Uh, Louis Toledo, what's the difference between? Oh wait, what's the difference between the Patek Chronograph and La Magna and a and a Man on the Fucking Moon aside from finish? Well, boy, we need Don Haynes right now, but I'm guessing that there that he could go on and on and on. It's got to be a much more um, elegant movement in the Patek, doesn't it? Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. He's. Uh, did you get the pictures from Archie about the uh, tag and the uh, Omega? And the picture. Oh my God. Who is that? Al? Is that like Al Jos Jolson? Seriously, who's that last picture? It's me. It's my new avatar. Someone sent me. Where's the horns? <laughs> post op. Post op. It's it's post op. Oh, post -op. okay. Post op, you understand? Post op. They're like your babies. Yeah. You can't cut them off. They're like your babies. You wouldn't even be you. I'm going to go and get some pizza. Just hang on there, guys. You know what? Listen, honestly, if he cuts them off, you want some pizza? he will not be able to get FM radio in his fillings anymore. No, I don't know what I'd do. I mean, seriously. I mean, that that goes, there goes half my material. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, there's plenty left. <laughs> well, that the the Minotaur yes. reference. I mean, Everything I'll just be regular. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. Hey, Dan, keep Is Mimi T delivering pizza now? It's Pizza Pagoda. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that name. Okay. Um. Okay. Pizza Pagoda feature. You know, Pizza Pagoda features back backyard breakfast delivery. Have you seen the Ronnie Paul Super Chat? Um, Ronnie Paul Super Chat. Arch, Josh have you ever seen the, the epic movie from the epic scene from the movie Sorry. Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? Well, with Alec Baldwin as day date gold president watch. I'm sure he has. You think we're gonna play? You think we're gonna play a nice long clip so uh, YouTube takes all the money for this live stream? I think Archie is eating the pizza delivery boy. Like no, please, no! I, I immigrant. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Here's your pepperoni, big boy. Me feed you long time. Me feed you long time. We love you long time. Here you have pepperoni. <laughs> now me feed you long time. <laughs> You are a nasty, nasty lady. Who is? Not nasty. What's he? <laughs> he, is, he is eating ass, all right. Yeah, a little nasty, but I think I like it. Here you go. Um, pizza oh. I think I think that Actually, pizza delivery guy. What do you? I, what do you think the chances are that Archie has like? 30 nubile pizza delivery guys in his crawl space. <laughs> Possibly. Now, Hotsey's saying he's pr he's he's probably working on sausage. No doubt. As we say in Chicago, sausage. That's how we pronounce it. We say sausage. Sausage. In Philadelphia, we say sausage. But out here in Chicago, they say sausage. Uh, get a really nice man on the moon from the 60s. Yeah. I'll go pick some out of my tree. What is the horn removal update? Well, Paul's, Archie is... You know what Paul's driving these days? How many more chance I have body stuff in my crawl space? That's true. And I dress up like a clown on the weekend. You should see me. <laughs> Rub the sausage on the skin. <laughs> it puts the sausage on or it gets the hose again. Squeeze the pepperoni. <laughs> well, you're the one who said you shot off. Somebody said that. What's Paul driving? Do we know? Uh, he's still driving the. Sh uh, he's still driving the. Uh, um, Honda. Okay. Pacific. What is your opinion on bronze watches, Kyle Kr? Reissue opinion. Okay, reissue. Okay, Archie. Yes. What is your opinion on bronze watches? 
you have, to say that. you have to say that and eat the pizza at the same time. Mm. I don't mind the bronzo tutor. Bronzo tutor is very cool. I understand you can force the patina to occur faster if you if you let your watch sleep every night and catch it. Mm. Mustard, I think, would be better. I know it's the acids in the tomato. Oh my god, Paul. Okay, who's, who's going to save your life if you choke on that? Paul, mm. I think you just fell a little in love. You have no gag reflex, do you? No. I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> You're not supposed to put anything in your mouth bigger than your actual head, yet you seem to like you seem to have like the jaws of a snake. You can like literally that. Well, okay. Uh, reissue opinion from some guy. Uh, Hoyer, Monaco, or Octavia? I'll be right Monaco. back. I'm gonna get well, food. Since, since Archie's getting a Monaco, I'd say an Octavia. Be right back. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, Ronnie Paul had a super chat while you're gone. Mm -hmm. Let me go back and ask, let me go back and find it real quick. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Archie's in good form tonight. Okay, Archie, have you seen the epic scene from the movie Glenn Ross with Alec Baldwin in a state date gold president watch? That's my favorite movie. So the answer is yes. Coffee is for closers. Coffee is for closers. Uh, also, also, that's the reference. Always be fisting. It was the okay. leads. We need better leads. The leads are no good. Matt Church analyzing Paul's concentration pizza eating levels. Actually, he learned that at a camp. All right. Boy, hot season, hot season real fine form today. You guys are still friends, aren't you? Chips and dips. Oh, yeah. Chips and dips. I couldn't stand it anymore. Oh my God, that looks so good. I, you know, I have a request, Paul. Do you think you could actually eat, like, could you fit a whole slice in your mouth without biting it? Could you just, like, put, I want to, I would, I would like to see that. Like, I don't doubt you for a second. Like, I think you could actually get a whole I think, I think if he rolled the slice up, kind of like a yeah. calzone or something like that, I think he probably could. I think you could just wait. Like, okay, guys. Whoa, 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 man. Whoa, Mark, Mark, Mark. Guys, yeah. if you want to see Archie attempting a whole slice of pizza at once, please super chat five dollars. Right. Fifty dollars. Oh come on! For fifty dollars, oh. I think you should poop it out and then eat it back again. Domino's charged me ten percent extra for delivery for pickup on a Sunday. Can you believe that? The lazy sons of bitches. Hey, Mark. Yes. Mark, two horns, one cup. Huh. Huh. All right. Hi. Hatsi, Hi. He is, well, Hatsi says, well, he is used to large things in his mouth. <clears throat> what kind of chips? Well, somebody just stole my potato chips, so I'm down to cor corn tortilla chips. Why are you eating it with salsa? Either that or menstrual fluids. I'm not entirely sure which. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> uh, pizza is the go these days. You never won your Clive, personal question. You don't want that. You never won your Red Wings? <laughs> the Red Wings? Oh, no. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Well, wait. Yeah, years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. When you're 20, it really doesn't. Uh, kind of gross, says Jared Coffin. Yeah, just kind of. 
Okay, so Paul's gone off camera again. I had to get some leftovers. Okay, we're hungry. That's impressive. Do you remember the video that you made in Bangkok at the seafood buffet? Mm. Wait, he's got to put her. Paul, do you Paul, do you remember the video that you made at the Bangkok seafood buffet? Yep, the Sukhothai buffet that was. Yeah. Oh, got, oh. Oh, the, okay. Uh, the crab claws on that buffet. Mm. You eating those crab claws oh. and the lobster claws nearly nearly caused me to vomit bile. <laughs> That's as close as I've ever come. And I mean, I watched some really skanky. I watched Dr. Pipple Popper, and um, mm. you got me worse. You got those isn't crab it, claws. What is it? It's kind of a guilty pleasure, though, isn't it? True. Yeah, it's just like. You have no idea what the bill came to. 2000 baht. It was, it was more, 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 more. Okay, $5 from, five dollars from Kyle KR. Eat the whole slice. <laughs> Roll it up. I don't think I've got any left. I have to do it next show. I got no more left. It's all gone. You ate a whole fucking pizza that fast? You just inhaled yeah. the pizza? And a garlic bread. And a garlic God bread. It, you're, like a, you're like a fucking horned piranha. Shit. Damn. I got a question, Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> How's the plumbing in your house holding up? Uh, it has issues. <laughs> no, well, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Paul, you know what I put in my house? You're exactly. going to like this. Clive, you are not going to understand this. I'm going to have Paul explain it to you. Paul, um, I've been to Thailand so many times. There's there's a an, an appliance, an, a bathroom apparatus. Ah, oh, the hose. Yes, yes. That is, the, that is the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Don't you think I, the hose is just yeah. you're so free, man? Yeah. It's like it's like the first time you sleep nude. It's just amazing, <laughs> you know. So what you know is what? the hose? It's wait. It's it, technically it's called the butt gun or the bum gun, and um, I, I'll tell my part of this, and then Paul can explain more, but. You know, the first time I went to Thailand, what I noticed was that every toilet has a kitchen sprayer hose, like attached yes. to the toilet tank. And it looks exactly like what you'd use to wash dishes in your sink. And I had no idea what this was for. Mm. It's amazing. It, I mean, it's, it's like the first time you sleep nude. It's just, it, it's awe-inspiring. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. We'll, we'll come back to this in a second. Those Clive, hoses... great Clive, Clive, great job. How do I send you a tip, Super Chat? They can send it to Archie and I'll pass it on to Clive. No problem. Well, sure you will. You'll probably eat it. <laughs> probably. So okay, so there's a hose. So what? There's a, so there's a, there's a kitchen sprayer hanging from every toilet in Thailand. Yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, you never feel so fresh in your life, do you? Well, honestly, I thought it was for cleaning out the bowl. I didn't know. <laughs> it was out the bowl. It's, it's it's not, it's, it's fresh, isn't it? Isn't it amazing or not? Listen, I was there two weeks before I figured it is not for cleaning out the bowl. It's for, it's for cleaning out the hole. <laughs> and yeah. they virtually, okay, here's the thing. Like, they don't really use much toilet paper over there. Why? No. They blast it off. It's like going to the car wash. <laughs> well, okay, so it's like a, um, shit, there's a French word for it. A, um, it's a duvet. That's a duvet. Yes. No, duvet. Oh my God, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, oh boy. Bidet. Duvet is Bidet. Bidet. Built on your bed, okay? A duvet. Is built on your bed. Not, 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 not after you've been sitting on them after you haven't wiped your ass. Not after you, you've used those hoses. It's if, not. If you were cleaning your <laughs> well, Oh no, 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 no. The, the mystery of what happened to Paul's curtains finally has been solved. <laughs> I think he cleans his butt with the duvet anyway. Um, so, the, you know, and then I started thinking about it. Now, this stuff hits you with such force. You have to be careful because you, you, depending on the water pressure, you could actually get, you could get actual penetration. You know, so you have to be a little careful with this thing. However, I started How thinking How much extra do you have to pay for that? I got it on uh, Amazon. For, oh, you, no, it's, it's, it's self-inflicted. But the point is, 
is that, um, you know, at first I thought it was weird, but then I started thinking about it. This stuff like blasts it off like a, like a pressure sprayer compared to paper, which just kind of smears it around a little bit. So it's, mm. a, it's, a, it's a very fresh feeling. <laughs> it, it's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. Well, how, how, okay. <laughs> it's a dude vape. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you hook it up? Do you hook it up to like your toilet plumbing? Do you hook it up to your yeah. kitchen sink? I mean, bathroom sink? Well, what you do, it comes with a valve, and you um, you disconnect the hose from the bottom of the toilet tank, and this valve plugs into the toilet, screws into the toilet, and then your water supply screws into the bottom of that, and then your hose sprayer screws into that thing too. So it's a like it's like a three-way valve that comes with this big long kitchen sprayer. So. Hmm. It's really, uh, it's really quite amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm a hairy guy. I can appreciate that. Oh, no. Yes. Because, you know, you, you will no longer have to manscape back there. We're talking about it's, it's as though you went to the car wash where you put the quarters in and the, and the magic wand starts spraying out at like 1500 PSI. You actually, <laughs> you actually could depilitate yourself with this thing. Okay. Crappy watches and cheap whores. Mark is disgusting. Archie is revolting. Clive. <laughs> Oklahoma. And uh, Archie will gladly lick Mark's butt clean for $500. <laughs> That's a lot of money, fella. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I've done it for wow. 20 okay. <laughs> New Australian slang. slang. Bidet, mate. <laughs> hey, $20 is $20, Paul. So, guys, I'm going to have to shoot off soon because i got to go and see my Patek appointment. Do I do it or I don't do it? Tell me this. i got to go and visit my punter. i got to visit a punter. i got to visit a punter to sell my Patek. Do I do it or I don't do it? Yeah, I want to hear from you. You said you're going to do it. You said you're going to do it if you back out now. That's breach of contract. Oh, think, uh, by the way, here's, no, a, here's an actual good. watch question. Looking to add a gold dress watch. Think IWC Portuguese or annual calendar. Opinions on this watch and other gold watches. I think the Portuguese is an absolute tank. That fucking thing tanks faster than, than a Monaco. Jesus Christ. Do you have no sense? Stay away from IWC. If you want to buy a gold watch, gold watch. Uh, I'd, say, man. I'd, say, I'd say, I mean, a gold, I mean, well, maybe it's because it's a dress watch. I mean, a sports watch, but. Um, I'd go yeah. two-tone sub. Two-tone sub's going to be so much better than that any fucking day of the week. Yeah. No way in the world would I buy a fucking IWC. And, you, and what, let me guess, they're going to give I, you 5% off? Yeah, I'd stay, I'd stay away from dress watches anyway. i got to be honest. I would like to point out that in the United States of America, shoot off does not mean what it means in Australia. Just so ah, you know. Ah, okay. Okay, no worries. No worries. But I, Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to have to shoot off in a minute. Do you want to keep going? <laughs> okay. Uh, Hotsy says two tone are for premature ejaculators. Stay away from two tone. Ooh, no, 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 no. You are not going to shoot off. You're going to leave. So, guys, what do you think? Sell it or don't sell it? Yes or no? Come Tell on. me. Clive, what do you think? Um, Get the wangy one. I'd say don't. Well, I don't know. Mixed. Because we both know you don't want to service it and you don't want to spend the money on it. If you sell it, you're going to regret it. And then you're going to turn. It's going to gnaw and eat away at you. you know, he'll be able to make 12 or 15 videos about how he misses that. Sell remorse. And like, then he'll go buy another one. Then I'll buy another one for more money, and then make more but make more e begging videos, or as he likes to call them, videos. <laughs> See, I don't think there really is a right solution. Um, okay. Um, actually, should we should people should we have a vote and people pay to vote on it? Sure. All right. Ten Philippine pesos per vote. Right. Servicing. TikTok. Jared Coffin. Servicing. TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Um, yeah, and I actually, I, I kind of hate to say it, I kind of am coming around to Archie's way of viewing it, that uh, 
dress watches are going out anyway. And, you know, a grand classique like that is basically a dress watch. It is a cool watch, but it is small and it requires a weird buyer to sell. Whereas a Calatrava or, or Lang A1, you can sell any day of the week immediately. Okay, Ving Tenier, opinion of Jack A Draws. Soft brand, fuckers, stay away. Very, just, very uh, soft brand. Stay away, stay away. You hit it on the head, Mark. I learned it from the best, Archie. I learned it from you. Mm. Yep. What did they get? Oh, wait. Wrong one. Sorry. Uh, I, I suffer from adult onset Mark Goldberg syndrome. <laughs> How dare you? I've actually, uh, I feel much fresher and cleaner since I've been housing myself off. Let me just yeah, say. I, I want to get one of those houses for home, don't you, Mark? I, I did. I have it upstairs in my, I put it in my house. And you want to know what? what? I am no longer ashamed to let the housekeeper wash my underpants. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am no longer ashamed. I have come out of the closet. Thank you. She often said to me, Mr. Goldberg, I don't understand why you have nicotine stain in your underpants. You're not smoking anymore. <laughs> your, housekeeper is, your housekeeper is German? No, is that was that? Yes. Frau, Frau Brucher. <laughs> My housekeeper is named Frau Brucher. I was trying to think of, I was trying to wake away up to a Schindler's List reference, but it's just too late in the night. You can't make light of the Holocaust, my friend. That never, that never flies. Well, yeah, well, it's, it's been like about six years. No white guy ever made money on the Holocaust or the N-word. It doesn't work. Just ask Kramer from Seinfeld. We were talking and someone, and basically then, I mean, conversation and then... Well, I'll tell you about it off air. Funniest joke. Okay, guys, we, we're going to cut this. Sorry. Oh, wait, wait. Ten, is there a super chat? Mark? Oh, wait. No, wait. Okay. I guess that is it. All right. It's been a blast, Two guys. More horn. Two more. But the thing <laughs> is, did you, see, did you see he has the other one growing up at the top of his head and the other bald spot? You know what? When that one comes out, he, the mothership, that is so the mother, it's like a beacon, so the mothership can locate him, and he's going to be just like no. hella no. Yeah, I was saying he's a, I was saying he's a minotaur. He's actually a triceratops. What if they're, what if they are antenna and they communicate with the mothership? <laughs> or, or, or if he has like more than three, have you ever seen uh, the Star Wars prequels? Yes. Dark Maul. Dark <laughs> Maul. Super uh, okay. Jack. Jay Halls, Patek Web's website shows service on a world time is $1,764 Australian. Mm, it's reasonable. Reasonable? Do you know how many pizzas you could buy with that money? Mm. Um, Jared Coffin says, keep them in formaldehyde and sell them. I think he's talking about the horns rather than the Pateks. That's true. You, you, those could be auctioned off for some serious money. Like actually, I would like I would I would want one, and I would wear it as a I, w I would put it in a little vial, and I would wear it as a um, you know like a medallion. Actually, you could slice it real thin, like with a deli slicer, and just sell slices of them, um, you know, locked in like resin, you know, jewelry. Kind of like Einstein's brain. Exactly, like little thin deli slices. You could sell canopy, hors all kinds of things. And then you could you could buy them and then send a special plate pizza over to Archie. I think I hear. Exactly. I think I hear a kookaburra. <laughs> All right, we got to end it, guys. Okay, see you later. Thank you so much. Ciao. Mark, thanks for coming on. Monica. Yes.